right now. We are going to get some pie and we're gonna go get ice cream. Yeah. The stuff in there is five dollars. Her. There's five dollars exactly in there. No change. Yeah. That's weird. All right. We'll see you guys soon. We're going to get some ice cream. Bye. 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 So we went and got ice cream and I stuck mine in a cup because it was starting to melt all of a sudden. I told the kids to bring cups with them so um, if we couldn't eat it all, we could put it in the cup. And um, we put them in the cup right away because they were starting to melt. So anyways, I got coffee and then I got moose tracks for my boyfriend and I got Rocky Road for my oldest son and then my youngest got Maui Wowie. So. We are back. Actually, before we got back, we went and hit up a yard sale. I'm going to show you what I got. Okay, so this is one of the things that we got. I don't know what to call it. I guess it's just like a little changing pad thing, but I've never seen one like this where it like folds up and unfolds like that. And it has music and stuff. All kinds of stuff like sounds music I thought that was pretty cool and this pad part right here comes out it has other changing pads in it and she was only asking five bucks for this so that's what I got okay finally because I've been looking for one I my phone is gonna fall bye I got a bouncy chair. Stop! I got a bouncy chair. <laughs> so that girl that gave me a bunch of free stuff, this was one of the items that I got for free. It's this cute little like shopping cart. I figure I'll keep an eye out for like the foods, fake food or toy foods or whatever. Um, and by the time she's the age to play with this and you know if I can't find any by that time then I'll just go buy some and that girl gave me this pump right here for free I mean showing you doesn't prove that it was free but I'm telling you I got lucky and hi huh I'm YouTubing. Oh yeah? And I got... Hi people. <laughs> my boyfriend said hi. Bottles. Huh? Bottles, there might be some rest stuff in there. <laughs> Anyways, all this stuff for free. This is all the um, connectors and everything. Hold on, I gotta make this thing stop. <laughs> so, um, Everything is in the garage right now because I really don't have space for it inside the house and there's no point in bringing it in there unless like she's here already using it and we, we got to clean our garage and everything. That's one of the things we got to do before she comes but also because I got to clean a lot of this stuff like I have a ton of shoes and stuff. This was one of the things that that girl gave me. It has suction cups. And you stick it on the edge of your bathtub. It's like if she's in there, I can like lean over and without hurting myself to give her a bath. And it has a little pocket right here. It has a little whale on it. My favorite thing that I got for free so far for my daughter. Let me scoot this out of the way. This doesn't fit. Look. <laughs> this chair is so cute. I saw one for, I think they were asking either 20 or 25 bucks on the site that I use but that one was obviously it wasn't free and it was yellow which I don't mind like I'll get anything for this girl like it doesn't have to be pink but I lucked out getting a little 
pink one for free. So we got that. <laughs> Looks like an elephant when I hold it like that. It has like a clicker. 14. Your face 13. Has a little book. Pop along with Brody. Pretend she can put toys in this part if she wants. Anyways, so there's that. It looks really cute. It's actually a pretty good size. I'm pretty sure she'll love having like her own little spot, you know, in the living room or wherever. We can take this camping with us if we want. I don't know. She gave me a manual breast pump for free. And she gave me a bunch of these bottles. I think there are six of these bottles for free, which is really good because I actually didn't have bottles yet. And I didn't have a bouncy chair, didn't have my breast pump yet. I did order a breast pump, but it's it might actually come like after she gets here, if she comes early. So um, I might give it away to someone who needs it when it comes, but or we'll see which one works the best, I guess. But um, I think like the only thing I really need right now is like the like a baby bathtub and like the little nail kit and then a, like a bath set and then just diapers like I have everything else like I've been getting blankets my sister-in-law is actually making her a baby blanket I wish I had a name picked out for her already you know then if she wanted to she can incorporate that into the blanket but um I know it's going to be beautiful regardless, like, if she knows her name or not. So, I'm really excited about that. And I'm just, I'm out of breath. From the garage sale we just came back from, got this little blanket. And inside of it, I have a bunch of shoes. Um, How am I going to show you? Hold on. These are brand new. They still have, you know... You can tell they're brand new. These are, so I got water shoes. My oldest son saw these and he he knows how expensive snow boots can be. So he keeps grabbing these. Every time we see free shoes, he's always grabbing the snow boots, which is cute. So Julian grabbed these for her and they're really cute. And this is like soft. And she has a bigger pair of snow boots too. So one day we were driving and the boxes I was talking about on the side of the road we got a bunch of free shoes and clothes from that. Um, we got rain boots. Three pairs of rain boots. And obviously these aren't for babies. But, you know, I figured, why not? If I can store them instead of buying every time she needs boots. Like, if I can get free ones now, I will. They do have prices on them. So it's like they had a garage sale and they were trying to sell them. But by the time... We seen it. We got them for free, but um, some little zebra print ones. And I like these ones the most. They're dirty. I have to clean them, but little like unicorn. Those are so cute. Here are the bigger snow boots. I mean, those are in great shape for free. Yeah, there ain't nothing wrong with getting free stuff. Yesterday, my youngest son and I. He had an appointment, so he stayed home from school. And then we saw a free post, and I got, there's a lot of stuff, but I'm not gonna show you guys everything because that'd take forever. But I found a little camel pillow, and this is a sleeping bag that's camo for free. <laughs> and you know those little like popcorn popper things that you push? I found a little ducky for free. I wonder if it quacks. No, it has a speaker box. I don't know. I'll have to figure that out later. And I got this too, but it doesn't have the back, but that's fine. And it's just like a little mat. It needs batteries, obviously. You already seen that, but it has a little keyboard and you can push these buttons behind here I thought that was really cute what's funny is that dog right here I found this there too so it also needs batteries this I don't know what you would hook it on to just whatever I guess but it's a 
play grow little steering wheel thing if she wants to feel like she has a little purse or something maybe she'll play dress up i don't know there's that and then i got this little phone needs batteries though but got that for free there's that dog again same dog he must be like a character i don't know but um i guess i should get familiar <laughs> but um found this little drum clock drum so i'm sure if it had batteries in it it would just say the numbers or who knows maybe it, it probably has music because it's a drum but it's pretty cool you can hold it like this or there's a speaker there it also doesn't have the back but it's fine i found this little thing it's a sloth <laughs> um it actually does have the battery cover <laughs> so that's good but it needs new batteries but um so i'm sure it just has the abcs and one two three okay i got from the garage sale we just came back from i got these little boots they're really cute and I just noticed the inside of them just now. How cute. I don't know. They're wearing off a little bit on the ends. But, I mean, how often is she going to wear them, you know, till they're completely, like, worn? I love these. How adorable with the little stars and everything. I like stars. Um, But, anyways, so cute and so soft. Little cowgirl boots. I found these. I don't know where the other one went. Probably dropped it. Oh, right here. Those are cute. I got these. They're like, kind of like little dress shoes, but I got these ones because um, I figured if she, they would like stay nice or longer because um, she can't really scuff the toes on them. And then back to the stuff that we found on the side of the road um, in boxes. I grabbed this little baby doll. It came with a little pacifier. It has like a button here. So I didn't put batteries in it or anything. But um, there's that. And I grabbed. Ew. She's filthy. <laughs> she needs to be clean. But I grabbed this little doll. My oldest son was with me. And he told me grab these. Which I agree. Can't ever go wrong with free Adidas. So we grabbed those for her. For when she's older. We grabbed a pair of Nikes, little play shoes, and I mean, I know she's not, these are pretty used, but you know what? They're free. I can clean them and stuff. Found these. Those are cute. A pair of these, which probably won't fit her for a couple years, but we grabbed it. <laughs> this thing right here, I thought it had like music or did something, but it's just just a stuffed animal thing that you can, like, hook those rings to and stuff. I found this little castle that I took apart to put into my trunk. Um, I found that for free by my son's school. So, that was pretty cool. Yesterday, when I was with my youngest son, we got... He grabbed the Batman for her. I love Batman. <laughs> Something he didn't know about me. All kinds of stuff in here. Grab some little tractors, just random squishy toys. Found that, little bucket things. Found a little unicorn pegasus, my little pony thingy. Grabbed this, it has like another one. It has that. These actually are two different ones that um, were put into the bin. Or the bin, the bin. This one had bags, like garbage bags set out with like random toys. And it had only one of these, but like all kinds of different things. So I grabbed most of the stars that I can find that fit. And I grabbed this one. Figured like this one, she can use it as a rattle. Found these little things. Thought those were kind of cute. Builder things. Well, is this like a steamroller? There's the other star. little rattle this whole bag here I just filled full of like little things like that just little toys and stuff I figure um how I used to be 
with my boys is I, I didn't do this. Like I had nothing against getting free stuff, but for some reason it just like, I think maybe like everyone helped me out or just like, I just didn't, I didn't feel like I needed that much stuff. And so I don't know if it's because I haven't had a kid in like 13 years to where I'm like panicking and I'm, or because I am pregnant and I'm just like, it's like nesting or what. But what I think is I could, you know, keep an eye out when she is this age and like older and needs shoes at the age, like when she's older, I can keep an eye out for free stuff at that age. You know what I mean? But also it's like, if I'm finding it now, why not? Like, why not? If I have room to store it, do it, you know? So if you guys have storage and room to store things for your kids or for yourself, like, even if you don't need it right now, it sounds like, okay, maybe that's not that. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't word it like that, but you know what I mean. Like, there's nothing wrong with putting it away and saving it until you need it. By my oldest son's school on the side of the road, I found this little um, stackable shelf. It has like one, two, three, four, five drawers, two small ones and three bigger ones. And, it, and it's pretty small. It doesn't take up too much space. So I'm going to clean that out. It's going to go in my room. Um, I could put like, I don't know if she's going to have a pacifier, but whatever. I could put binkies or, you know, the nail kit stuff or I don't know. Put whatever I need in there for her. And yesterday when I was finding all those little toys, I also seen this. So I felt really lucky grabbing this because I didn't even know it had this little like part that you can see the light through. But it just looked like that. Like when it's off, you can't even tell that you can actually see through it right there. So that's really cool. My little baby. My little baby. Oh, we also did grab like a little um stuffed animal husky. And I put it in the kennel when we came home. And Jack was just like, he looked so happy. It was so cute. I should have recorded that. But so that's his baby that we got for him for free. And I'm going to show you guys that angel wing outfit and stuff I was talking about. What are you doing? What are you doing? Where's your baby? Where's your baby? Okay, so that is what it looks like for free. There's a little headband right here, and you can see, as you can see, it's new. Like, it has the hanger. Here's the wings and the flower. It's so beautiful. So, be ready for newborn pictures <laughs> in this little outfit. So cute. And so she gave me that. Um... The girl's name is Julia. Julia gave me that. And she gave me this. It's also new. She said her friend got it for her, but she didn't need it. So it was just like in her car. This was like when I was getting ready to leave. Um, After all the other stuff she gave me. And she gave me this. How cute though. Look at the little turtles. Cute. I can't remember. I know I didn't get this from her. But I know I got this for free. Probably at a garage sale. Maybe in a free pile. I don't know. But I thought that was cute. So I grabbed that. Julia gave me this. It can go like in between your legs. In between. You know. And make sure your knees aren't like. You know. Just in between your legs. Instead of a body pillow. And I got this blanket for free. I don't remember where. But I know I got it for free. So I grabbed that. I thought it was cute with the stars. Julia gave me this little thing. It's really cute. For the car seat, you know, just for padding and stuff. And I think I got this from Julia. So you could just hook this to whatever you want. Like, our bouncy chair that I just grabbed does not have, um, like, a ring on it. You know, because I didn't buy it brand new. I got it from the garage sale. But I might be able to put this on there or wherever. Whatever I can hook it to. Maybe the car seat. It's probably actually for the car seat. But thought that was cute. And it was brand new. She gave it to me and it was in that box there. As you guys can see, I haven't painted the wall or anything. I'm still not sure if, like, I want to. Like, I kind of want to, but I don't want to as bad as I did so, I'm kind of like waiting. I don't know why, but I should just do it. 
But, um, so keep an eye out for that. I don't know when I'm going to be decorating and all that. One thing I did do, though, just to see, like, how it would be, is I hung this little, um, what do you call it? I almost said lantern. Um, chandelier that I've had for a long time. So, anyways, this used to be in our laundry room. I hung that up there and watch how bright it is. Okay, I guess, obviously, it's not going to look that bright, but... That compared to that, it's actually like really bright. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave that there or if I wanted it to go like in the corner here and I was gonna hang like a cute little sheet maybe around. But honestly, the sheet I have is just white. So you would, <laughs> it's not gonna do anything. <laughs> like, I don't know, just trying to figure out everything with the lighting situation. Because what I'm thinking, in order to decorate our room, don't worry, I'm not like laying on my stomach. I'm just like bending over because I just feel weird. I do weird things now when I'm pregnant. But, um, so in order to decorate our room, I have to figure out like lighting, I guess, you know, because I was thinking about these little lantern things that are on each side, like there's two on the wall. I was like, oh, that's going to be fine. You know, I could have just used that. But thinking about it, it's like, no, I actually can't. Like, I could get a nightlight. I need, so what I need is in order to turn those lights on, I have to actually get out of bed and go to the wall over here, which when she's born, it'll be light, like I can see. But for the most of the rest of the year, like, it's not going to be like that. So I'm trying to, like, figure out. The placement of that um chandelier before I do anything else you know because that's going to de determine like where the furniture and stuff's going to go because I'm not going to hang that thing above her crib like I wouldn't trust it I would just like be paranoid thinking it's going to fall on her in the middle of the night like I don't know I think I watched too many Final Destination movies but um so yeah kind of thinking like I don't know I don't know what to do with that but I'm really excited I am 32 weeks pregnant now and I feel it <laughs> I actually feel like I'm farther along like I really do think I'm farther along than my doctor's been saying I'm not sure if I feel like I'm as far along as the out the ultrasound girl said, but then told me to go by my doctor's due date. But I do feel like I'm farther along than he's telling me. Like, I really don't think she's going to be born in August. I think either early July or mid July at the very latest. So I feel like she's going to come pretty freaking soon. It's already what? It's almost the middle of June. I don't really think I have that much time, so I need to figure this out. <laughs> What's going on, my friends? What's going on? Oh, tag team over here. The workers. Is that your baby? 15 miles <laughs> an hour difference, guys, with the Suzuki's. I mean. Did you guys see him? I'm outside now. It took forever. <sighs> but anyways, my boyfriend smoking steaks right now, I guess. You guys can smell it. It looks so good. It smells so good. Oh, I've been wanting to show you this cup. I don't remember if I did or not, but got this cup the, um, in the free pile that was by my son's school. And it, I found three straws, and it's like they're weird. They have like a weird soft tip I don't know and an update on our yard <laughs> our grass is growing we still didn't clean that area and there's still holes in the fence oh also we got a camper I don't know if you can even tell hold on 
So. It's one of those pop-up trailers. We got that, um, his parents gave us that for free. We have like one camping video and that's what we used in our, when we went camping. So you, if you go back, it just says like, I think it just says go camping with us or come camp with us. But you can see the trailer in there. go sit in my little hut yeah I like this little thing but I don't actually sit out here as much as I thought I would well I mean also where it's at like in the summertime so there's shade now but like in the summertime usually it's just glaring in here the sun so it's like it's not even a place that you can sit and relax um and the whole reason I put the shutters on was because I was hoping even though like in that space right here you would have light coming in the sun shining in but my plan was with these shutter door things is I can block the sun that's the only reason I ended up putting them on and also if I fold them out that way and make it seem like it's bigger you know but I think I'm gonna get another shutter and hook it to these shutters so that way if I wanted to I could kind of enclose it it's really cute though I like all the little decorations I put on it like little sun catchers and my wind chime I love that wind chime so much I like stuff like moon stars sun um, I had to take these balloons down now I have that one too in this little cutout window thing man I was so tired earlier but yeah our grass is growing <laughs> you can see it <laughs> it's gonna take a while my boyfriend painted the back doors the french doors there he painted them black and he brought up painting after he did that he brought up painting our trim black and i actually do think that would look really nice because it gives like a clean look and our i liked the green a lot but it's fading so bad um and then we would have to put like I guess there is trim around that window and there's trim around that window but we would have to put trim around there and there and then paint the trim black too so it would look really nice like I don't know I ended up taking like the longest nap just because I'm tired of being tired like after I get my kids so I figure if I'm tired already like I might as well take a nap before I pick them up and then when I got home, I was still tired, but I told them, I was like, get ready to go. We're going to go get some ice cream. You know, I just had to, like, I felt like I had to get out of the house. Like, I didn't care what we did. I didn't care if we spent any money. I didn't care if we even really went anywhere. I just have to, like, get out of the house, get in the car, roll down the windows, feel the fresh air, smell the fresh air, <laughs> not just sit outside. You know, I just didn't want to be at home, but I feel like I'm always here. But, um, you know, I used to think, like, for how much gas is right now, like, it's not worth it to go anywhere. But now I'm starting to think, like, if I'm going to be paying that much for gas, like, I might as well go places I actually enjoy and not just take the kids to and from school and just be at home. Like, if I'm going to pay that much, I'm going to take advantage of it. So, I told the kids that. Um, we also went to, like... After we, after we got ice cream, we brought cups and we put the ice cream in the cups because it says single scoop, like when you order a, sing, a single scoop, right? But it's like, I swear to God, it was like four scoops. So it was a giant single scoop. But um, what was I going to say? Oh my gosh, I can never like remember anything. Oh, and then on the way back. So we just like stuck our ice cream cones in the cups like upside down. 
which you've seen. Mine's in the freezer. I can't eat all that. It, mine was coffee flavored. I was like craving coffee flavored. Not coffee, but coffee flavored ice cream. Which, now I'm actually drinking coffee, but, ow. Um, so anyways, after we got the ice cream, we went to an antique store that we actually like, that's fairly close to us. Um, and my son got his dad a present there. It's, it's like a fishing pole lamp. So, and it's an antique, like it's really cool. So it doesn't have a shade. Um, I told him they should go to like Hobby Lobby and look for like a fishing lamp shade. Cause they have all kinds of like cool things at Hobby Lobby. That's the stuff I like to look at. I know everyone likes to like look at the decor and all that, but when I go there, I like to see like the different sections they have. They have like, I don't know, they have like a sea or like ocean kind of stuff. Like, decor for, well, I guess it's decor, but you know what I mean. Like, everyone likes the signs and all that, but I like the section of, like, different, like, themes, I guess. So, if you're, like, decorating your bathroom, you know, it has, like, all the ocean stuff or all the cabin stuff or all the fishing stuff. And I can go with the ocean, too, but they have all kinds of cool stuff there. So, I told him maybe he should go there and, like, look for a lampshade. That has to do with fishing and when it doesn't have a light bulb and he was all worried about a light bulb and I was like we have light bulbs so i can just give him one of those but 